Welcome to Etipedia World, and this time we're going to tackle about monocot seed. Let's define what is monocot seeds. It have only one seed leaf inside the seed coat. It is often only a thin leaf because the endosperm to feed the new plant is not inside the seed leaf. This is also called as monocotyledon. In terms of germination, when a monocot seed germinates, it produces a single leaf. It is usually long and narrow, like the adult leaf. Even when it is quite a round shape, there is only one seed left in a monocot. For example, we have the Homeria, Lilium, Gloriosa. In terms of leaves, of monocot seeds are often long and narrow with their veins in straight lines up and down the leaf. Sometimes the veins run from the center of the leaf to the edge parallel to another one. For example, we have the canna, clivia, and washingtonia. In terms of stem and roots, the stems are usually unbranched and fleshy. They do not grow thicker from year to year. New leaves often grow wrapped in a protective sheet formed by the alder leaf. The roots of decots are usually short and stringy, and decot often have bulbs. For example, we have this part for the stem for monocot and shift and the root. Flowers of monocot seeds are in three usually part. The sepals are often the same color as the petals, making it look as if the flower has six petals. There are usually the same number of stamens as petals. For example, we have the Cirantius, Cleon, and Agapanthus. Sea pod or fruits of monocot seeds are usually have three parts. The seeds are often large and fleshy, and the largest seed in the world is the Coco de Mer, and the smallest seeds in the world is orchid seeds. They are both monocot seeds. We have here the iris, antericum, and hediceum. So this is about monocot seeds. So thank you for listening at Wikipedia World.